The Lord is the strength of his people, a saving refuge for the one he has anointed. Save your people, Lord, in this your heritage, and govern them forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. You are all very welcome as you join us on Facebook here at the St. Joseph's Church meeting this morning. I want to begin by apologising for anyone who was watching it last night during the transmission program from the Gospel. Our apologies for that. And with our loving as we go along and things will be improving and thanks for your patience and understanding. My apologies especially uh, to the Murphy family in Mass that offered, was offered for Julie Murphy, Lemon Keel, and uh, I know the family who were listening in many, many others. So my apologies for that. And we remember Julie in the course of this morning's Mass. We remember all our dead. We remember all those who died recently and all those who died in the of horror. And our message this morning we offer very especially for Jack and Henry May Hurton Rockley. We come with our intentions, our petitions before the Lord. We come at the, the beginning of a new week to thank the Lord for what we've passed and to ask him again for his grace and his help in the way to come, in the week to come. We bring in humility, we bring before him anything we fail to or anything we fail to one another, and we ask for his pardon, his mercy, and his help to do better. You raise the dead to life in the spirit, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. You give pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ have mercy, Christ have mercy. You give light to those in darkness, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, give us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world to mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. We pray for our intentions, we pray for the dead, as I say especially for Jackie and Henry Hort and Rachel, from this Mass of the Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive us of your kindness, though you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And we listen now to the word of God. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear so many disparaging me, terror from every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. All those who used to be my friends watched from my downfall. Perhaps we will be seduced into error. Then we will master him and take our revenge. But the Lord is at my side, a mighty hero. My opponents will stumble, mastered, confounded by their failure. Everlasting, unforgettable disgrace will be theirs. But you, Lord of hosts, you who probe with justice, who scrutinize the lions and the heart, let me see the vengeance you will take on them, for I have committed my cause to you. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the soul of the needy from the hands of evil men. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your great love, answer me, O God. In your great love, answer me, O God. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that 
and I was praying to my brothers and nearly to my own mother's sons. I brought them with me to your house and taught it in stew for all of me. In your great love, answer me, O oh I. This is my prayer to you, my prayer for your favor. In your great love, answer me, O oh God, with your help to give our things. Lord, answer for your love is kind. In your compassion, turn towards us. In your great love, answer me, O oh God. The poor when they see will be glad, and the last is in heart will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy, and does not burden the servants in their chains. That the heavens and the earth give him praise, the sea and all its living creatures. In your great love, answer me, O oh God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Sing into the world through one man, and through sin dead. And thus death has spread through the whole human race, because everyone has sinned. Sin exists, existed in the world long before the law was given. There was no law, so no one could be accused of sin of the sin of cooperation, yet death reigned over all, from Adam to Moses. Even though their sin, unlike that of Adam, was not a matter of breaking at all. Adam prefigured the one to come, but the gift itself considerably outweighed the fall. If it is certain that true ones may fall, so many have died. It is even more certain that divine grace given through one man, Jesus Christ, came to so many as an abundant free gift. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. The word was made flesh and lived among us. To all who did accept him, he gave power to become the children of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus instructed the twelve as follows Do not be afraid, for everything that is now covered will be uncovered, and everything now hidden will be made clear. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the daylight. What you hear in whispers, proclaim from the housetops. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Fear him rather, who will destroy both body and soul in him. Can you not buy two sparrows for a penny, and yet not one falls to the ground without your father knowing? Why, every hair in your head has been counted, so there is no need to be afraid. You are worth more than hundreds of sparrows. So if anyone declares himself for me in the presence of men, I will declare myself for him in the presence of my Father in heaven. For the one who disowns me in the presence of men, I will disown in the presence of my Father in heaven. And the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is a hymn which is often sung in this church, and it should be often sung in many other churches too, and it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you as well. And I think that those words sum up very much the gospel, our gospel this morning. Jesus tells us to ask us to follow him, to love as he loved, to give as he gave, to serve as he served, to do what is right and to reject what is wrong as he did. But when we do that, if we commit ourselves to that, he tells us three times in the gospel, do not be afraid, do not worry, do not be troubled. If we do that, if we seek him, if we seek his kingdom, if we follow his ways, every other thing in our lives, things which are important in our lives, they will all find their proper and perfect place. If we put him first, if we put him do what we put right first, then everything else will find its own place too. It's challenging and it's comforting as well. I suppose it's our nature, maybe, what to want to be in charge, but we're not in charge. I think our present situation has taught us again that we're not in charge. But what we can do is we can commit ourselves to God, we can commit ourselves to each other, and then try to stay worried or be troubled or try to walk off what's going to happen 
to leave that to do that. So we pray to the Lord for that grace today and throughout this week uh, to do our best and to leave things in God's hands. Because that's what he asks us to do and that's what he wants us to do. God helps us in so many, many ways. And one of the great ways he helps us is through each other. And so through sending people in our way to help us and support us and are with us in times of difficulty, in good times and in bad times. And we thank him today for that. We thank him for all the people he has sent over the years into our lives to support us and to show us his love to us. And we ask him too that we may be the people that he sends to others, that we may be the people that help others and support them to serve them through good times and through bad. And it may be also the way to do this. In doing this, it's many words we could say a win-win situation. Because we're doing God's will, we're helping others. We're also taking the focus away from ourselves and away from the worry and troubles that we may have for ourselves. So we pray, as I say today and during this week, for that great grace, the grace to seek God, to seek his kingdom, to do what he asks us to do, and that everything else may find its proper place in our lives. Let us stand now and proclaim our name. And we use this morning the Apostles' Creed. Mm. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered from the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and the seed is the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there we shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And we may hope prayers now in confidence to God the Almighty Father. We pray for people throughout the world that more people may come to know Christ and love him as their Savior. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for the people of our parish. We ask you, Lord, to be with each one in the way they need you most. We ask you, Lord, to be with each one to help each one in mind and body and soul. We thank you, Lord, for the way our people help each other. We ask you to continue to be strength and comfort in the way they please you, in the way they serve one another. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for peace. We pray for peace in our hearts, in our minds, and peace in our homes. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We thank you for our young people who may be finding things difficult at the moment, and not to have the freedom, having had the freedom to mingle and mix in the way they used to. As we all looking for more freedom, we pray that we may use that freedom responsibly in a way that protects others and protects ourselves. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the bereaved, for all those who have lost loved ones to death, that the Lord may give them comfort, consolation, and strength, and be with them now and always. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all those who are sick or suffering in any way, we ask the Lord to touch them with your healing love and to restore them to their health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We will remember our dead. We pray for Andy O'Donnell to your brothers who died during the week. We pray for Jeremiah Shehan and Penny Shehan, both to Mount Comer, both of whose anniversaries occur at this time. And we remember also uh, Jeremiah's wife Susan and Penny's wife Margaret. And we pray for Julie Murphy, Kelly McKeel, for whom last night's Mass was offered. And we remember especially in this Mass, Jack and Henry May Kurt and Rock Hill, whose anniversary is occurred at this time, and for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray that they and all the day may share to the full in the happiness and the joy of God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we pray for our intentions for a moment in silence.
Come our Father, we make these known our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few short notes and just to remind you once again that the newsletter is available in the shops of the parish, also in the portraits of all churches, and it's also online. The good news is that um, Mass for the Congregations will recommence on Monday the 29th of June, which is tomorrow week, and then the weekend Mass will recommence on the 4th and 5th of July. Now, as the numbers will be limited to 50 for the first three weeks, and we ask for your patience and understanding and cooperation, especially during those weeks. And there will be more details and more suggestions about how we manage that in next week's newsletter. And as we will continue to be streamed on Facebook and on the page called We in Our Channel Parish, a Saturday night at 8 pm and Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. You know, that's happened this weekend and will happen again this next weekend. They will continue with maybe different times, especially Sunday Mass will be at different times after that because when you go back to our normal routine Masses or normal schedule, obviously the time will be different. Uh, and recordings also of both Masses are available later in that day on YouTube. Um, all churches continue to remain open for private prayer. You're open to hear from half 11 to 7 o'clock each day, and our chapel from 11 from 7 to 11 each day. And messages are available also on um, church services and uh, TV. And, and from Monday to Friday, they probably all go at the stage. There's a mass available in Arteen, who is now at 10 o'clock day. And really, we're going to have a mass every morning for the week at 10 o'clock. And um, as I say, the newsletter is available at shops online in the churches. And Edward Toomey and the family, the Toomey Family Memorial Committee, have an audience this week thanking you all, thanking all those who took part in the virtual war run and cycle uh, over the past few weeks. Uh, also, just to mention, there will be a collection, a food collection for the Cock PD dinners uh, at Wheeling next Sunday. And this organization helps the vulnerable, the elderly people of, of Cork, and dry foods, tinned foods, cereals, and biscuits, etc., to be dropped to the hall that day, next Sunday, between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. And all donations will be gratefully received. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer to you. Through the earth and work of human hands, you become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Water and wine will be to share in the divinity of Christ, who found himself to share in our humanity. And blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer from you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands will become our spiritual gift. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And pray, sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God and to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, a sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant it cleansed by its actions. We may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you have loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sin we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks, as in exhortation we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Jack and Henry Mayhurton, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember our brothers and sisters who are all asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and followed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we wait in blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins from the face of your church, 
and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always Amen. and with your spirit. Just pray for the gift of peace for ourselves and for each other. We pray that we wouldn't worry or be troubled. We'll be able to do our best and then you trust in God to look after us. We pray for peace, especially for all people who find it difficult to be at peace at this time. We ask the Lord to give you your great gift of peace. And by the way, we help and serve each other to be to live in peace to one another. We ask for this gift for ourselves and for all our people. We pray together, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this meeting of body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood. I have not any condemnation of health and mind and body. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, nor say the word, but my soul shall be keep. May the body of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive the sacrament today, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Stop. 